Hey everyone, it's Bobby. Um, I wanted to show you a project I've been working on. I decided to get an early start on Christmas gifts for the people I work with um, in the office. This one I used uh, some old retired uh, Stampin' Up! paper that I had. I think it's called Paisleys and Petals. And this is a Tim Holtz, um, what does he call it? Clipboard Clips and these little pads I found at the dollar store at the family dollar for uh, just a dollar and then I've got um, two pockets here to put notes in this one and this one and these two little pieces are magnets that you can attach notes to and the magnets are just sandwiched between the cardstock and the embellishment and then the other one that I made is using some leftover paper that I had from um, Graphic 45 um, Ladies Diary. That's what it was. And then these little stamps are the magnets on this one. And I have another little notepad here. And then when you take the magnets off of this one, there's a couple of little inserts here. And these are from the collection. It's just all of these are just leftover papers I had, and then I cut out a couple of the little ladies and put magnets on them as well. So there's plenty of places to to tack up notes and well, where to go? There it is. The other one may be down here. There it is. Okay, so that is that one. And they're just finished on the back with black cardstock. So I thought I'd show you how to make one. They're really easy. Nothing to them. Uh, what you'll need is a piece of um, chipboard. If you have medium weight, what I did, this one that I'm going to show you today, I um, put two pieces of medium weight chipboard together and then I just run around it with black construction tape and I'm working with um, a company to provide me with this construction tape. I, it works really well. I really do like it and it's you can see when you ink edges you get it all over you and this one this one here I ink the edges on and this one has the construction tape on it so anyway this is two pieces of medium weight chipboard and I bought it from um, Country Craft Creations and if you all um, think you have an interest in this black construction tape I was going to order it uh, from an online video that I've seen many many times but the international shipping is so high it was going to end up costing for three rolls uh, the shipping was going to be eighteen dollars and when you do the conversion on the um, the money from Lira, I think it is, or whatever it is, to U.S. dollars. It's seven ninety-eight a roll, plus eighteen dollars shipping. So that was going to be almost forty dollars for three rolls. So I just thought that was pretty high for tape, at least for me. Maybe I'm just a tightwad. I don't know. But anyway, I thought, well, I got to be able to do something better than that. And I wanted to try it. So I did find this one. The only thing is, I'm trying to get the price down cheap enough. Um, I've already covered this one back hard stock too just to save time but I'm trying to get the price down cheap enough where I can offer it to you on my Etsy store without it being so high because I think um, the packages at the post office where if it fits anything ships for five dollars I might be able to get two or three rolls in that so it would make it shipping would be cheap but it'd have to be anywhere just in the US okay so to make this what you need is a piece of chipboard uh, either one piece of heavy weight or two pieces of medium weight and it needs to be eight by then you need you need 12 by 12 so it needs to be 8 by 12 and then what you're going to do is you're going to measure in from the sides let me get a piece of 12 so I can tell you what they do with the 12 there it is I 
I should have had this all written down, but okay. So here is a 12 by 12 piece of medium weight chipboard from Country Craft Creations. So you'll cut it eight wide, which is the bottom, straight up eight. Then you're going to measure in from each side. I think it was an inch, yeah, an inch and a quarter from each side, and you'll make a little tick mark at the inch and a quarter. If you can see that, I hope. Let me check. Yeah, you measure in an inch and a quarter, and then an inch and a quarter. And you'll cut from this top tick mark down to the bottom corner, from this one to the bottom corner. And then when I cut my paper, I just traced around this and cut it right inside my line and until you get it exactly like you want it. Um, I just trim like an eighth of an inch off at a time or a sixteenth inch because you can't put it back, so you want to take off just a tiny bit at a time. And then I'm going to put this down on my chipboard. Now I've already cut this and you can see I'm leaving just a little bit of a black edge on it, but before I <coughs> glue it down, I need to make sure where I want my magnets because they need to be hidden underneath this piece. So my plan is this chevron and I'm going to cover up these words because it's just part of a so I think it said be happy every day or every something. I don't know what it said, but anyway, part of it got cut off. So that is going to be at the bottom. This is going to go over to the side. So I need my, and I have already put these on black. This is part of the paper collection. And I'm going to put them like so. So that is where I need to put my magnets. So let me get three magnets out. And lay them apart where they don't grab onto each other. So I'm going to carefully lift this up. And just let them grab. That's over too far. About like so. Okay. So that's where I want my magnets. So I need to turn it over. And I need to put glue on each one of them. Here it is. I'm going to put a little bit of glue down here and put it back. And this is um, the art glitter glue also from Country Craft Creations. I like it really well. So I'm going to put a little dot of glue under each one of these magnets. And then I'll be able to glue this down. if that stays there, but I really don't want it to. Okay, so now I can glue this down. I like to make sure it gets in my corner so everything seals down. I don't like having little pieces that stick up. I'm going to put a little extra around each one of these magnets. A scratchy noise. Okay. So now we can turn this over and position it where we want it. Put it up just a little bit. Out. 
you always want to make sure you don't get your magnets too close to the edge of your paper because it'll keep it from sealing down and want to pucker up. And this is just a dry wet wipe. It picks up any glue that seeps out from under your paper without leaving a really yucky residual. Oh, let me get the punch. Oh crud, I didn't punch it in the back either. That wasn't very smart of me, was it? Let's see if I can get this up if it's not sealed yet. Yeah, it's not tight yet. Let me punch my holes real quick. I got a little ahead of myself. I didn't punch it through the black. It's hard to see this too. It's so thick. There, got that one. that. Let me punch this. So it's through on the front. So hard to see because it's thick. Let me just do it with this. There we go. Okay. There's the holes for that. Doesn't show anyway because the, <coughs> the hinge covers it. Okay. Now the little pocket is going to get glued on three sides. This too is just leftover paper that I had from um, an album I did a week or so ago. It was the Mombi Sheets. I just glued that down along the bottom. And then we've got this corner pocket. I'm just going to, I've just backed it on, I fussy cut it and blacked it with, backed it with some black cardstock. and just cut it to fit this edge so it makes a pocket put our little hinge on and these I'll give you a link to these they're um, they have them on Amazon and they're just called clipboard clips I 
There, that's the bigger one. That's what I was looking for. Okay, let me put this in here. See if I can see when it's... This thing is so thick, it's hard to tell where it's at. Oh, goodness. He's not wanting to go through two thicknesses. That's pretty rough. I don't know if I'm going to get it through there or not. I probably should have punched it before I put it together. There, that one's... That was tough. Alright, let's get one more. Oh, that one went right through. Why didn't the other one do that? We'll try it again. Now it did. Okay. Now we're going to put these through. And they have a little washer with them. And like I said, I'll give you a link to the Amazon site. Push that through with the washer. Does this got the washer? Yes, it does. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong piece. The little piece with the screw slot goes on top. And push it through there. They fit tight, but they're going to stay anyway. Okay, and then this sits on here. <coughs> Screwdriver. What a dummy, I put it upside down. Can you guys believe me? Time to grow up, Bob. Pay attention to what you're doing. Okay. Duh. I'm telling you. Make sure what I'm doing here. I'm not mechanical, okay? <laughs> okay. Hope I'm not getting my head in the middle of the camera. Try not to. Okay, I'm going to start this one so I don't get it too tight. And then I don't want to go in. Or didn't want to spin where I want it to be. Okay. Okay, there's that one tight. That one's tight. Now I need my little paper pad. These are little sticky notes. And they'll hold up to a half inch thickness of paper. And if you want to hang it on the wall, there's a little pull tab on these that you can hang it up. And then I've got three little cutouts here that uh, came from the paper pad that I can put up underneath here. Okay. And there it is. Isn't that cute? They're so easy and so quick. The other day I made three in a day and I wasn't really pushing it either, but um, they're real easy and they're quick. And this has just got the three little cutouts in it. And then you got the second pocket up here if you want to put something in it. There we go. So that's three of them. This one is the Mombi Sheets. I think it's called Hello. I don't see another name on it. This one is, this is, it's all just leftovers. Um, this is scraps from um, Lady's Diary, Graphic 45. And this is scraps from Petals and Posies by Stampin' Up. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you need, um, just let me know what you think. Um, if you have any interest in the black construction tape, let me know and I'll pursue it. 
and try to get it for you as cheap as I can. Alright, thanks a lot guys. Glad you could join me and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.